Welcome to Foodie Friday DFW. Today we're in Old Town Louisville at Sullivan's Barbecue. Terry Sullivan has put together an incredible place with an old school flair of making barbecue and he's made his own sauce. You gotta come try it. Right now let's go inside and meet Terry and his crew and enjoy Sullivan's Barbecue. Terry, thank you so much for inviting us over. Thank you, I appreciate it. You bet, I mean, this was the site of the Old Town Meat Market for almost 42 years right here in Louisville. That's correct. And now it's Sullivan's Barbecue. That's right. And if I remember correctly, it's about your 14th restaurant that you've had the pleasure of owning or managing over your career. That is correct, I've had 14, half of them were barbecue houses, the other half steak houses, yeah. Right, so what made you open Sullivan's Barbecue here in Louisville this time? Well, it was a great location. As you said, this was a meat market. Not only a meat market, but they also sold barbecue here. So they had, uh, they were established, right? And uh, uh, a great butcher shop. You know, those guys, the Knowles, they were just the best butchers in the state of Texas. So they moved out, moved to a place over in Double Oak, and it became available. And I don't know, it just, uh, it, I just felt like that Old Town needed a great barbecue house. Well, I agree with you. And I understand your timing was perfect. You opened about 45 days before COVID shut everything down. You know, my business plan went out the window. We opened in January of 2020, and uh, not the best time, but you know, the community really supported us. The city of Louisville has been so great for me and with me, and, and of course, God just kept pushing us forward and everything turned out good. That's awesome. You know, we were here at lunch and you had a pretty good crowd here and your food is amazing, Thank I will you. tell you that. You. I even had a little bit on my shirt a minute ago, so. It, it was embarrassing. It was, you know what, it, it's evidence that I was into my lunch, <laughs> you know. Um, but I also noticed you had a couple of interesting things on the menu to include a pecan pie that your 85 year old mother makes that was her grandmother's recipe. That's exactly right. My mother's 85 years old and when we first opened, uh, she said that she wanted to make the pecan pies. And, um, and she's made them ever since. And she makes them exactly the way that her grandmother made them, exactly the way her mother makes them. She uses ribbon, ribbon cane syrup and they're really gooey, really sugary. And if you're a diabetic, you probably don't want to eat them. Speaking of barbecue, I mean, we had a really nice lunch today. Tell us, what'd you serve today? Well, we started with brisket. I mean, that's, that's my staple, you know, and that was a Texas staple, right? When you talk about barbecue. And uh, our brisket, uh, we only use prime. And uh, if you know anything about the different categories of beef, only 2% of all beef in the United States is considered prime. Uh, that's the brisket, and that's what we started out with. But we have all of the classic barbecue items here. I think you. I think uh, you uh, had the ribs. We did. Our ribs are are just incredible. I think they are, and uh, we just our seasoning seasoning on our ribs we make in house, and you know it's just uh, garlic and onion and and uh, salt and pepper and paprika, and um, we smoke those for about seven hours, and we cook them fresh every single day. Everything that we cook, we cook fresh every day. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! And tell us about that sausage. You know, the sausage is, is uh, uh, we have two types of sausage. One is just regular smoked sausage and the other is jalapeno cheddar sausage. And we sell a lot of it. Yeah, well also you have your own barbecue sauce. We do. We have three different sauces. We have a regular barbecue sauce. These are all my recipes. We make them fresh here. Uh, so you, I, I think you have the regular barbecue sauce there. And then we have a, a whiskey bourbon sauce. And uh, the base of it is just the regular barbecue sauce. And then we have a habanero hot. That's amazing. Well, I will tell you, delicious. Now, this isn't just a barbecue house. I mean, sure, I can come here, grab some barbecue, go back to work, bring my family here. But on the weekends, it's an entertainment venue. It is, and, and, and we're really enjoying that aspect of it. Now, our, our menu, our barbecue menu is always available. But on, Saturday, on Friday nights, we do um, all-you-can-eat catfish as well with homemade dinner rolls. Um, and then we have on Saturday nights, we have all you can eat uh, catfish or ribs with homemade dinner rolls, homemade cinnamon rolls, live entertainment. So we have, our weekends are big. That's awesome. And I understand there's a line sometimes out the door. Usually on, on, on the weekends, uh, we, we have a line out the door. People usually have to wait for a table. Hopefully it's not too long. But Well, Terry, your food is delicious. We Thank had you. a great time here. Thank you. My team and I are definitely going to be coming back for sure. Thank you. But last question. If you could tell <clears throat> 10,000 people one thing about Sullivan's Barbecue, look into the camera, what would you say? I'd love to have you come. We're just old school here. And uh, we've, I've been cooking barbecue for more than 30 years. 
And I just do it the old fashioned way. And if you like that kind of barbecue, this is the place you want to come. Terry, thank you so much. I mean, that was a lot of fun. And everyone, thank you for watching. Most of all, come meet Terry Sullivan, owner of Sullivan's Barbecue, right here in downtown Louisville. Amazing food, great guy. Thank you. I think you'll have fun. Thank you for watching. Foodie Friday, DFW. Thank you.